Winter has returned to Trosa, so there's no time to waste. Sarah and Arturo Cohen have bundled up their daughters. The playground is just a few hundred meters from their house. Six years ago, the Cohen family moved to a newly constructed housing area at the edge of the town. We mainly did it for the children, or more precisely, for our oldest daughter. We used to live in a big city, and we had the feeling we would prefer to live with our children in a smaller, quieter place. Sarah grew up in Trosa, but her husband Arturo also thought it was a good place to move. It's not far from Trosa to Stockholm. You get a good deal for your money here. And it has a lot for families, schools, daycare, and good transportation connections. Trosa is a community of 11,000 people and still growing. It's a 45 minute drive from Stockholm. And it's a picture book version of Sweden. No wonder the town is used as a location for films. In summer, it's a mecca for tourists. The picturesque cityscape and the scaries, the nearby islands, are Trosa's trademark. But people here know the sights aren't everything. We want it to be easy for an entrepreneur to reach a civil servant or a politician. We want it to be easy to get construction permits. But that doesn't mean we're offering any subsidies. We aren't. We aren't even allowed to. Jonas Iberval and Gunilla Persson have a feel for local entrepreneurs. As business development officers, they even help small hairdressing shops to apply for local planning permission, for example, or for regional government subsidies. The small city has attracted a thousand companies. Hey. Hey. Jonas Iberval emphasizes that one man or one woman companies prosper here. There are lots of small networks here. It's not so common elsewhere as it is here for people to help each other with spare capacity and working hours. We really have special community solidarity here. We want to achieve something and get ahead. We want to grow, including with small companies. And that goes for mid-sized companies too. Arturo works for Chemfil, which is expanding production. Two hundred twenty people produce air filters here. The company has just invested in its plant, and the global crisis seems far away. Chemfil isn't laying anyone off. Its problem is finding more workers. Our selling point is the quality of life here in Trosa. We write that in our Help Wanted ads. The sea, the islands, everything we have here. It's a good place to live and work. Arturo Cohen was initially hesitant to start work at a small company. But now he's glad he took the plunge. He services the machines at Camphill. And he says the company offers both security and variety. My work is fairly independent. A lot happens. It's not the same tasks every day. The Cohen family has never regretted moving to the small town of Trosa. Eight-year-old Miranda is doing well in school. And the schools here are good. Trosa's schools do well in comparison. The schools here are small, and they rarely cancel lessons. I think that's very good. Trosa, a small city in the Scaries with a dedicated government and a good relationship between business and politics. An area once dismissed as the end of the world has turned into a growth region in the last few years. And it did so on its own, undeterred by the current economic crisis.